Hello. Hi. We're back. And we're moving. Where are we moving to? Uh, we moved to Boulder. We want, are you sure you want to see Boulder? <laughs> Why wouldn't I want to see Boulder? We're moving to Boulder, Colorado. Because the prices are going to be insane. I know. All right, we're moving to Boulder, Colorado, which is home to the University of Colorado Boulder. Where I applied for a job and I made it to the interview stage. That's right. That's but right. not for a, a professor job, for something else. Right, right. Uh, it was like an institute or something. Yeah, and I would have been, what it was, was I would have been making science education materials. Yeah. I mean, I don't think that really would have suited you. No. But at least it acknowledged that they should have somebody who's in, like, you know, communication, writing, so presenting. We, we've that been job. to Boulder. My best friend lives in Boulder. Yeah, we've been there. We, we stayed near the, the, um, the college campus. Where did we stay? I think we might have even stayed at this Hilton Garden Inn. Not oh, mm. was it a Hilton Garden? Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is where we stayed. Okay. Um, you drop our little 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 man here. Um, yes. Yes, this, this is looks, where we. Yeah, stayed. this is, looks familiar. Yeah. Oh my God, I would never live in Boulder. <laughs> I wouldn't live in Boulder either. I would live in Boulder if there was, you know, I don't know. But it, it, I just look at that pic and I'm just like, this is suburban hell. Yeah. Like, I know there are people who want to live in places like that, but why? Um, why? All right. Uh, so, uh, ready. Uh, the university is between Broadway and 28th mm -hmm. and 119. So it's it's in here, right? So we want to look somewhere around there. Yeah, Let's and see. this actually is a large campus. And holy shit, are the the prices high? Yeah. All right, this one here, one bedroom, Better one, one bath, bath four hundred and thirty-five <laughs> square feet. We're it's back a, into like the San Francisco prices now. It's, but it's an apartment in the building. We saw apartments like this in Boulder, uh, with this kind of like wooden mm -hmm. deck rail thing. Ugh. All right, so. Um, 345,000, one bedroom, one bath, 435 square feet. And it's an investor's dream. Oh my god. Which means it's fucked up somehow. Investor's dream. Premium top floor condo only shares one wall, has bonus loft space vaulted ceilings throughout, taking glorious mountain views to the west from your large private balcony on the quiet side of the building. Rented through 8-4-2022, so you'll have instant income in this freshly painted condo with brand new LVT flooring in all rooms. So you can't even move into it. Yeah, so many losers. Special features in this unit are the living room fireplace, an additional storage space downstairs, and a reserved carport. Just steps to see you in the hill, so always rents in a sec. Um, what kind of monthly rate would you need to pay off the mortgage of sixteen hundred dollars and ninety six plus tax assessments? Probably two grand a month mm -hmm. for this apartment to pay for itself. Yeah, which is what people want when they when they buy the real estate. Right? Mm -hmm. That's mad. Yeah, so this is probably renting at two thousand dollars a month. Holy shit! All right. Uh, I mean, I don't really want to look at it because it's so small, but it'll be quick. <laughs> you say that. Uh, Outdoor private entrance. Yeah. This weird little loft space. Skis, free skis. Tiny kitchen. It has I mean, a dishwasher though. This is like identical to the building my friends lived in. They don't live there anymore though. No. no. Um, they had to move out of Boulder. Yeah, and it has a hot pot. Mm -hmm. But I, they have, they had that little like a uh, ladder up to the loft space too. Yeah. Which the dog would hate. Uh, okay, black black um, appliances means they're from about 10 years ago. Mm hmm Because nobody does black appliances anymore. This, this person living here has no furniture, but they've spent money on fucking tripods. They're a YouTuber. <laughs> hey guys, it's me, I'm back. I'm, I, you, you I, I think I'm right. <laughs> I think I'm correct. Hey guys, it's me, I'm back here in my clear chair so you can see my ass. Um, no, uh, they also have- Is a dildo on they, there? They, no, no, that's a PlayStation or an Xbox controller. No, no, I meant on the table. Oh, that green thing. No, I believe that's a lint roller. Okay. And they have an SLR camera as well. This is a this is a YouTuber. That right? might be a YouTuber. Look at this useless fucking fireplace in here. Mm -hmm. And they have a Saving Private Ryan poster. What's your favorite film, dude? 
Saving Private Ryan? Oh, you're boring. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck me. Okay, bonus laugh space is um interesting. This is where the the person who's secretly living in your house lives. Well, I mean, so again, this is very similar in setup. I don't think this is the building they lived in. No, it isn't. It's the wrong color. Yeah, um, but they they slept in that loft space and used the bedroom as an office. Oh, did they? Yeah. Yeah, I was only in their place once. Um, yeah, this th person stores his uh, multiple rolls of. They're hoarding toilet paper. <laughs> they are hoarding toilet paper. But they're yeah, sleeping up here too. Yeah, they found that was the best use of space is to put the office in the bedroom and. But if their computer's out here and they sleep up here, is there are there actually two people living in here? That right might now? be what it is. Yeah. If it's two thousand dollars a month and they're like college kids. Imagine renting this fucking attic. Yeah. Jesus Christ. I mean, for them it worked because you know it was it was. Two of them who are a couple. But wouldn't you just rather have your kitchen with this high ceiling in it? It would be better. Yeah, than the loft space. Absolutely. But they're trying to use the loft space as a way of, like, you know, expanding the square footage of the apartment. Yeah, yeah. They probably got up there with a tape measure, too. Yeah, so there's two people who live here. Yeah, you're right. Inflatable bed. Don't ever sleep on an air mattress, given the opportunity not to. So no window treatment. So These it's are definitely who, college students. Yeah. Oh, the loft extends into the bedroom. The bedroom's not even private. So they can peek over and watch you sleep. And watching you touch yourself. So we can try to find out the gender here. I think these are dudes. I think they're dudes as well. There's there's Gillette shaving lotion mm -hmm. here. and uh, But there's a lot of things there. Yeah, but one of them's like a YouTuber. Maybe, maybe. Hey guys, it's me, uh, Todd. I've just plucked my eyebrows in the mirror here. Mm -hmm. I got a GFI outlet in the bathroom though, so it's Yeah, safe. at least we got a GFI outlet. This is a tiny sink. Yeah. And there's minimal storage in the bathroom. Uh, this is a shithole. <laughs> yeah, it's awful. And I mean, I don't have a problem with the person's stuff or anything like that. It's a tiny little closet that's not suitable for one person. And it's what? $350,000? That's 400 That's 345 oh, Okay, 345 So it's it's super expensive. More of these plastic chairs. They got a set. They yeah. got four of them, right? Where's the table, though? Is is that what their desk is? I don't think it was. Look, majestic diagonal view to the mountains. Mm -hmm. uh, this all looks so samey. Like, I feel like I've seen all of this, which just tells me all of yeah, Boulder looks Yeah, down the street alike. from here. Too. Um, like I swear I've, I've seen that this is the storage area in the basement it's so cramped it's so oh man this is where you, you go around the corner and somebody die. stabs you yeah exactly this is where you die this is there's big graves under there in the daffodils bike lane though bike lane hey nearby stuff this is downtown boulder this is all of downtown Boulder. Yeah, we've been there, and it's, it's not great. Don't let anyone trick you into thinking it's nice. Don't Yeah, don't let anyone fool you into thinking that Boulder isn't a hellhole, because it is a hellhole. It is a terrible place. Um, I don't even know why we looked at this one. It would not have reached our criteria for searching in the first place. No. We would have never considered it. All right, south of campus, 1.5 million, holy shit. For a, a place that only has one bathroom. Three bedroom, one bath, 1,830 square feet. For 1.5 million. Which is pretty big. This is an older place. Right, here we go. Looking for a rental property in Boulder? Well, look, yes I am. Look no further. This two level duplex is an unbeatable University Hill location. The property sits between Baseline and Broadway and is just a short walk to the University of Colorado campus and restaurants on the hill. These units are currently leased through 7-2021. Property highlights. 100% lease through 7-2021, prime hilltop location, four off-street parking spaces, small rights and client, and legally zoned for eight occupants. So like what we're coming up on is all of these like for sale properties in this area are intended for college rentals. Yeah, this is a rental property. Right? So I see one mailbox though. Right. But, but I see two gas mailboxes. But so like it's eight people are allowed to live in the three bedroom. It's bath. two different houses. Okay. There's two gas meters. You don't have two gas meters unless you have two different gas payers. Okay. So it's uh, not actually. There's another. There's going to be another mailbox down there. So, so it's not actually three bedrooms, one bath. I don't think so. I think it's. Or it might be two and one. Uh, mm -hmm. And then two. Two bedrooms. baths. Yeah, two baths. They just like don't know how to express that here. Yeah. Or it's just listed. 
it's dirty as fuck and run down. Look at this. Look yeah. at the separation between the on and here. I mean, we live reasonably close to a college, right? Very that, close. That, that's been made clear. Um, and I see the properties that are close to campus yeah. and the kind of condition they're in. They're in rough shape. Yeah. So it's clear that people who have an intention to rent to college students Do don't give a, give a fuck. fuck. <laughs> That's right. They don't. You're definitely right. Uh, the place right across from uh, where I ride into campus. Mm -hmm. It's just like they haven't touched their backyard in 20 years. Yeah. So there are a lot of places where the spaces. porches are falling apart. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Weed is legal in Colorado, folks, and you can tell because there's one, two, three bongs on the table. Normally, when we go to look at a rental, they hide like, the bongs. The bongs are there, but <laughs> under some sort of sheet. There's flowers in them. Uh, this is the this is the reality of Boulder, Colorado, which is to say, it gets hot enough several days a year that you really want air. But only several days. Yeah. But, like, nobody's got air conditioning. Because it's only, like, five days a year that you need it. Look at all this shit on the fucking table, guys. Like, I don't even care about your bongs, right? But, like, there's all this other shit on the table. Yeah. I feel like there's been multiple apartments that we've uh, walked into, like, IRL looking at, and it's like, oh, that's where they hid their bong. Well, we walked into an apartment in the place we're at now where they clearly had a legal... Weed book. Legal um, weed license. Yeah medical use and they were using it to sleep mm -hmm. they had like a, a nebulizer oriented around the weed but we went to apartments in chicago pre-legalization it clearly was like we shoved our our bong into this corner <laughs> yeah. yeah you know God, this place is run down their their kitchen their dining room table has a bench a rolly chair and a stool <laughs> Nice. Yeah. There's an, a flamingo in the lamp. There's a flamingo Bro, in, in the, the lamp. lamp. Na, 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 na. So like, what are these cans? This is like a bunch of markers and shit. Like somebody gets high and does. Someone's art. huffing. No. <laughs> somebody might be huffing. No, I think somebody gets high and draws. Mm -hmm. um, draws. Next. Oh my <laughs> god. Jesus Christ! This house is a mess. <laughs> Like, how do you look at this as an investment property when it's like trash? Because like because you'll still get kids who are paying a thousand dollars a head to live in places like. This. So these appliances are ancient. Mm -hmm. right? This is a new fridge freezer though in New York. That but, stove is a health hazard. Yeah, this is disgusting. It's gas too, which mm -hmm. actually surprises me. Um, brand new cabinets, you know, ten years ago, and a brand new countertop at the same time. Mm -hmm. Because nobody, nobody after this or before it put in diagonal things like this. Yeah. And it doesn't look like a hosey boy. This is really messy. What do they have? They have a toaster. They have an electric kettle. They have a coffee pot. Mm -hmm. This looks like it might be a coffee grinder. And that might be a burr grinder. Imagine grinding your own beans and then putting them into a filter coffee drip. Into a drip coffee. People do that. Yeah, I know. Uh, people also use like the stone top ones too. Yeah. Uh, they got they got like this is my walk. My I, I like to make stir fry from time and to time. And I'm the last person to judge for somebody having multiple ways to make coffee in a single apartment. <laughs> That's a good point. We do we do that as well. Uh, Fleetwood Mac posters. Get your Fleetwood Mac posters. Get your uh, get your colorful trippy tie dye posters. Yeah, get your bones. At your college campus, uh, did they did like an outside vendor show up on the first day of class to like sell posters and shit? No, but they did at the college we both worked at before. Yeah, and uh, you can say U okay. UIC. We can say UIC. Okay. Because we used to live there. And then, uh, I went to Eastern Illinois for a semester, and the first day of class, like, a, a van pulled up and was, like, selling posters out of the van. Yeah, and they definitely did it at UIC. They did it in Campus Center East. And the posters were, like, absurdly expensive, but the thing is, is, like, if you were at Eastern and you had cash and were from a poor family, your dorm room got, like, 10 posters. Yeah. Uh, but uh, if you were me, you didn't get a poster. I mean, we did not have that, but I went to a very different type of school. Yeah. The, the density of my college would make it untenable for somebody to, to spend a whole day there. Yeah, as would with the one I actually graduated right. uh, uh These books just jammed in here, like underneath the mm -hmm. table here. It's real weird, right? 
Uh, there's a lot of shit on the walls. They got a number of plants. Uh, everybody has their own bomb because of Corona. Right. You, you know. Stay. <laughs> Tame Impala's cool. I mean, I can't even really judge this bed because this is probably the blanket situation I would have if I lived alone. That's yeah, true. You, you would live like a single dude. You would. They got a dehumidifier or a humidifier. No, that's a heater. It's a heater. That's a heater. That's a stand-up heater, yeah. Which means that this window is leaky. leaky. Um, nipple light missing the glass. It hit it with their bong. It shattered and they never replaced it. Maybe. Amsterdam map. <laughs> Amsterdam map up in the wall. That's great. They're definitely students. This is like this semester's coursework. Yeah, yeah. Damn and Paula, too. And these are dudes. Some of them are, at least. I'd say this person is a dude, though. Big old, like, two foot by two foot tiles on the mm -hmm. floor in here. And in the kitchen, which this is... This is so disgusting. Disgusting. <laughs> this place is so disgusting. I don't know. We've lived in some dirty places, but this is... Yeah, but we cleaned up after ourselves in the dirty places. Right? Generally. Generally, yeah. But see, this is a girl's room. Yeah. For sure. But she's like a hippy-dippy girl, too. And it used to be a front porch. That's why are there are all these windows all around. Yeah. This room is fucking freezing in the winter. Mm -hmm. She's got like an electric blanket. Mm -hmm. um, this is definitely a woman's room, though. She's maybe a lesbian. But no no guy would have this much uh, decorative hanging. I see. There was a lot of stuff on the walls in the other room, though. That's true. That's true. But this is a woman's bedclothes as well. The, the heated blanket immediately makes me think it's a woman. It's a bathroom. What's underneath here? There's a big giant box in the in the bathroom. Bodies. No, this this so there's this is like the stairway to the downstairs or something mm. like that. The bathroom hasn't seen a hammer in 40 years. <laughs> like it's it's in rough shape. This is one of those like how do people live like this? When it's this messy? Yeah. They, they're hoarding fucking toilet paper. toilet paper too. They got separate toilet paper uh, stores. This person didn't appear, prepare for the apocalypse, but this person has 30 plus rolls stored up. A lot of rolls. Uh, this is another girl's room. So maybe it's two girls and a guy. Maybe. They, they did the hanging picture thing that the other person did. I mean, the they smoke a lot of weed. We know that. Yeah, well, what's that have to do with it? Uh, guys, like, my roommates are such a oh my god, you don't even know. I had to call my parents and ask for more money so I wouldn't have to live with my roommates anymore. Guys, now they're paying $3,000 a month. Do kids still play hacky sack? Alright, anyways. Um, I don't think kids play hacky sack anymore. This is a basement room, though. Yeah. So maybe it's two floors, but they're connected. This is the fourth bedroom, bedroom we've seen, seen yeah. This is another girl, I think. Yeah, it has it has stuffed animals. She's, she has that. a single serving coffee maker in her room. Yes, that is what that is. Mm -hmm. You're right. Uh, which means that she doesn't leave her room as much. Look at this. There's another string of fucking pictures. Is this a thing? Yeah. <laughs> Fuck. I mean, clearly, yes. Cheap, cheap uh, drawers and stuff. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mom, I need a nipple light. <laughs> this is the one who doesn't smoke weed, and that's why she has her own coffee My maker. My roommates are always putting weed in the coffee maker. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is definitely the basement apartment. This is a, like another kitchen area. Yeah, this is the sideboard of the kitchen. Mm -hmm. That's right. Um, they have a blender down here. And a toaster. Everybody's gonna have their own water bottle. Of course. I don't know what that is. I mean, everyone has their own water bottle. Okay, the, the stove never gets used. Yeah. This They never get out. We'd be dope together. We'd be dope together. So much for that. Hashtag no filter. If you can't handle me at my worst, you don't deserve me at my... I'm only at my worst. <laughs> I'm always at my worst. Uh, this is a, gotta be a dude, right? I don't know. I mean, there's all these dude pictures, though. That's a yeah. bit weird, but... I guess so. Also, the state of the bed makes me think either a dude or someone like me. There's there's two guitar amps on the floor and a guitar. It's This is a dude. All right. 
And now for Wonderwall. I mean, I brought a guitar and a guitar amp into our marriage. Oh, I guess we don't have our my amp. My amp is still yeah, in my Yeah, we have my side. amp, your guitar, and my guitar. Yeah. Well, it's not even my guitar. My friend's guitar. It's your guitar now. I don't know. A Lana Del Rey pillow. Yeah. It actually looks like it's a tweet of something Lana Del Rey said. Said. Made in it into pillow, a pillow form. Which is really fucking weird. I don't know who this is. I don't know. Uh, I don't know who these people are. That might be Ice Cube. But the rest of these people aren't people I know. Yeah, I don't know who those people are. Malibu, okay. There's nothing in here that tells me definitively what gender this person is. A rapper. Other than the fact that's the state of their bed. I mean, I can't picture a heterosexual male having this many pictures of men above and around his bed. Mm -hmm. But this is easy to eat from uh, the rap group N words with attitude. Let's see. <laughs> I don't actually think that's right. I don't think easy to eat with N words with attitude. Uh, another bedroom. So this is six bedrooms we've seen. Yeah. And not a single bathroom. No, we saw a bathroom. Remember the hoarding toilet? Oh, before. right. There was one bedroom. So I think this is two, three bedrooms, bedroom, one, one bath unit. Yeah. One in the basement and one in the second floor. Okay. I cannot tell the gender of this sign says female. Okay. So does this. Okay. Uh, you know, though, I don't know. I don't know either. None of this is particularly identifiable to me. Yeah, I, I think this person is ambiguously gendered. Hey, another bathroom. This one's been updated recently. Shower only. The shower curtain's horrendous. Yeah, the shower curtain's horrendous, but you can't see much of it, but the floor in here is horrendous as well. And I don't think that's dirty. I think it's a really bad job. I see. Uh, wow. Okay. I mean, so like, I guess if you feel like living in the basement and then renting the top floor? Sure. But that, that basement apartment had a tiny kitchen. Yeah, it's true, but you got an extra bedroom, so you could, you could put all your non-kitchen stuff that you put in the kitchen and in, in, in the bedroom. Like all your, your like, uh, shelf-stable food? Your shelf, well, you can use it as a pantry, yeah. yes. But also I'm thinking about, like, the electric kettle. Right. The coffee pot. The toaster. The toaster. And people would be like, oh, don't you have the toaster? And you'd be like, it's in, in the, the kitchen. second kitchen. <laughs> Let me show you my other kitchen. <laughs> would you like to see my other kitchen? So at a little low price of $1.5 million, you can own that shit. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't, you know, $6,500 a month. If you're charging each kid $1,000, it still doesn't cover it. Well, it's, it's, it's zoned for up to eight. Yeah. You can have couples in there, but. Right, but you rent each one of those two units for like $4,000. $3,000, $4,000, mm -hmm. Jesus Christ. That seems insane. Uh, $350,000. This is an apartment or a condo. One bedroom, one bath. One bedroom, one bath. 675, 72 square footage. Here you go. Well manicured and updated one bedroom in Gold Run. Exclamation point. Covered at west facing second floor units, stainless steel appliances, new clothes washer and dryer, updated hard surface flooring throughout. Assigned parking space in front of unit, still no garage. Community leaves little to be desired with low HOA payments include sand volleyball court, tennis court, basketball hoops, BBQ grills, gym, racquetball court, pool, two jacuzzis, one indoor, one outdoor, two electric vehicle chargers, and 24 hour security. A short distance to see you, Scott. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Scott. Scott isn't even the lister. No, all right. Um, I hate this place already. Uh, look at all the desire paths. Yeah. These are people like, campus is right over here. So right, so we're going to cut walk, that way. Walk through there. Hey, this person is always relaxed on the couch. They've got a computadora. Mm -hmm. New windows, new There's sliding glass the door. There's something, something like a fireplace there. There's a fire going in it while there's a plant in front. I mean, of that, that piece of the couch at the end is something that I, I perhaps covet. Which one? The the part, this part here. This? Yeah. Well, they've got this giant fucking ottoman, too. Right, so the idea of, like, sitting forward and being able to play on, play video games 
rather than the way I look, lay on the couch now. Yeah, sideways. Right. And, and looking over your at your head. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, I sit up when I play difficult games, but... The Buddha? Yeah, the Buddha. Why is this... What is this going on there? Is there a giant window there? Yeah, are they covering something? Are they hiding something? What are they hiding? <laughs> what are they hiding in the dark? What are they hiding? I don't think anyone's watched this. No, this no, hour. no, no. Oh. That number's gone up by three. I mean, people watched this the first time. Five uniques. I see. Three chatters. One of them was a bot. I see. One of them is the music. Oh, the I... The other was YOLO, Swaggins 420. I thought... I meant it since we restarted. I don't think anyone knew it's been since we restarted. Well, you're wrong, because this number okay. was 370. Okay. So people have been in. <laughs> they leave they right just, away. They though. just don't like us very much. Yeah, that's how it is when you're small. If you can get a conversation going, it's one thing, but it's just that's just the way Twitch is. The Buddha, above the fireplace, of course. Chess table, because you like to pretend you know play, how chess. To play chess. I know how the pieces move in chess. Do it's different you, than knowing how. Do you know en passant? No. Then you don't know right. how to play chess. Yeah, I know how the pieces move in chess. I didn't say I know how to play chess. But, but en passant is how pieces move. Oh. And the thing is, is nobody understands en passant, and they say they know how to play chess. But it means in passing. It's the way a pawn can capture a piece that's not directly in line with it. It doesn't matter. Um, do you know how to play chess? Yes. Well? No. <laughs> and I hate chess. <laughs> I hate chess. And let me tell you why I hate chess. Okay, so now why, why do you hate chess? I hate chess because chess is a bad game. Why is it a bad game? Because it has an extremely limited number of pieces that move in an extremely limited way because it's played on a board with pieces in your hand and flickering firelight in a fucking Indian palace or something. That's what it was invented, right? Chess is an Indian game. But um, it... Every game that has been invented after chess is better than chess. You want strategy? You want skill and ability? Play poker. I don't even like poker. It's better than chess. And tell us more about... <laughs> Anyways. Isn't it funny to be gigantic on the television? <laughs> I mean, it was very intense. Right. Chevron right? Why, why does it, somebody fuck this code up? And it's supposed to say next frame or next picture. And now it just says Chevron right. <laughs> Chevron right. This porch is all right, though. Yeah. I don't know why there are pillows on it, but. Um, I mean, I like porches. I like our porch. where you can pretend to play chess. Okay. Kitchen. Yeah. This could be Normal worse. kitchen. They got a lot of shit. Um, throw this toaster oven out. Uh. You got, if you have an electric kettle, you don't need a drip coffee maker. Buy a French buy, press. Buy a French press. Fuck. The coffee will taste better. Or a pour, and it's faster. Or a pour through. Yeah. If you're one of those people. Don't be one of those people. French press is faster. It tastes fine. So this this is the bedroom. It looks out over the balcony. This person sleeps alone. Mm -hmm. And they weigh themselves every morning. It's dark. They have a full length mirror, so they're probably a woman. But it's, it's a fairly somber room for a woman. This is a men's decor room. I would decorate a room like this. I also weigh myself every day. <laughs> you don't. Almost every day. No, you don't. Uh, all right. Uh, Bathroom. You can throw up in the tub while on the toilet. Or the sink. Which is always, you got options. Always nice. The outdoors. The and outdoors. Are we now going to see the shared... Uh, yeah, that's the bridge over the homeless ravine. Homeless people definitely live in this ravine. Yeah. We've been to Boulder. Every ravine has a homeless person. Every, or five. Everywhere has has homeless people in it. Outdoor BBQ grills that have never been cleaned since they put yeah. them in. A health, health club. club. I don't think I could ever go back into a health club after COVID. I mean, you don't have to have money to stay fit. And exercising in a gym because, like, you don't have the discipline to, like, do it in your own house is really weird. Yeah. Um, my boss, he's sort of my boss, has a, a basement full of, like, weight room shit, and he's 350 pounds. So, like, Does he use it? No, that's the point. Okay. He keeps saying stuff like, well, I used to go to the gym since COVID, and it's like, dude, you have a house. 
Yeah. Get a, get a stair climber from a used stair climber or something. I mean, number one, the I used to use the gym at UIC where, you know, I used to work. Right, used to go to the gym after or before work. Right. Um, the gym at where I work now apparently sucks, but I've never used it. I've been COVID. in it. Have you been in it? Uh, yes, in passing, like when it's, I was interviewing. It's pretty big. Yeah, but it's, it's not very good. Like, it's, it's old. It's dated. It's There's equipment, hard. and it overlooks a track, and the track is uh, an Olympic track, and there are four basketball courts in yeah. there. I mean, there's, there's plenty of exercise space. Most of my students say one of the main difficulties with that is um, the space is so small, and the teams always have it reserved. So, like, if you want to go and lift weights when you're out of season, it's very difficult to get time. That I believe. So they all have separate gym memberships in the community because, you know, if you're in soccer season, you have total access to it because your team has rented it. Have you been in the basketball stadium? No, I don't think I've been in the basketball It's surprisingly stadium. large. Oh, wait, is that? I have been in the basketball stadium. It's yeah. surprisingly large. I met the coach the other day. All right, um, this is funny. This this one guy's working out in here and he's watching TV. Yeah. That, it looks like soccer, doesn't it? It does. He's like, fucking soccer. Rack ball. Have you ever played rack ball? Uh, no. I will never play rack ball. Okay. I used to play rack ball with my parents. It is like way too hard. Well, I mean, play rack ball. My parents used to take me to rack ball courts and we hit balls. Hitting the ball at the wall when you're like a kid and you don't have the arm strength to like really follow through and haul mm -hmm. off of it means the person next to you can hit it back. But like... An adult hitting a ball off a wall of racquetball means like you are going to have to work to play that ball. Yeah. And no fucking thing. Well, I was more athletic than both of my parents, so it worked out fine for me as a kid. Well, you are more athletic than your mother, that's for sure. I was deaf. I was, my mother was more athletic than my father. <laughs> Let's put it that way. <laughs> All right, so um, outdoor volleyball court, tree. Oh, yeah. Tennis this, this is in great shape, guys. Mm -hmm. You should feature that. <laughs> scores. Uh, confusing bike paths. That's picturesque. Dirty, filthy river with homeless people in it. We've definitely been here. Yeah. Uh, okay. I mean, all these, all these non-apartment things are, are weird. It's an over, over uh, shot of CSU. Yeah. Which is not a pretty campus for. I mean, there's something about the mountains that's nice, but I don't, I don't agree. we've only ever lived in flat places. <laughs> that's mostly true. Uh, okay, so uh, we haven't been up here. So. 1.02 million, three bedroom, two bath. This is a condo. Price cut. Price cut. Price cut. Doom. Doom, doom. One million nineteen thousand dollar, three bedroom, three bath, two thousand square feet. Walk to everything from this downtown Boulder income property. So this is another multi-unit. Perfect location, gorgeously remodeled two-unit townhouse with proven income potential for both short-term and long-term rentals. Each dwelling has a separate entrance. Live in one and rent the other separate fully contained space. Upper dwelling, two, 20, what? 25B. 25B is a two-bedroom with a bonus loft space, a modern kitchen with quartz countertops, modern appliances, a fabulous outdoor deck, and partial foothills views of upstairs master bedroom balcony. Lower dwelling is a separate one-bedroom, 25A, with its own kitchen, three-fourths bath, new vinyl plank floors, and a large living area with a private outdoor patio, central to the Pearl Street Mall, CU Boulder, and the Google Campus. Each unit has its own reserved parking space. No, no fucking garages in Boulder. It snows in Boulder. Yeah. Okay. So, like, is the common like wisdom that if you you're in a multi-unit, you live in the less desirable unit? Yeah, that's typically the thing. Uh, you know, you remember Barry? Yeah. Yeah, Barry had a two two unit yeah. building, and he and his wife lived in the less desirable smaller, and their kid. Yeah. And then they had tenants downstairs. Yeah. So you generally take the smaller of the two. Yeah, we were in the apartment on Eddie. Mm -hmm. The owners were gonna move into the attic where we- were. Right, yeah, the one who bought the building were gonna move into the attic. So like with the thing. apartment that I had before we met, that you moved into and then we moved out of, mm -hmm. was a third apartment in a house. Slanted ceilings. And it was an attic unit with a dormer over the kitchen. And it was very small. We moved out of it because it was too small for the two of us as a married couple. 
two of us as a dating couple, I think it was fine. But well, it was my place and you were paying a little bit of rent, so. Yeah, I mean, the two of us as a dating couple it was fine in the sense that, like, just most of my stuff still lived at my mom's. Right, right. When we became a married couple, I wanted more of my stuff to actually yeah, be with us. Your own space, yeah. Yep, I don't miss that place. Uh, okay, here we go. Oh, they got Russian propaganda on their walls. Isn't it cute? Progressive. And, and anachronistic. Hmm. More of these clear chairs. Fucking nasty ass clear chairs. Does, does your butt make them fog up? I mean, probably, yeah. Probably. Butt fog? Butt fog. Butt fog is a serious problem. So it needs an info. I mean, it's kind of nice that it opens into the kitchen, I guess. And the enclosed patio is right outside there. That's nice, too. I mean, I definitely, most Eating of the outside. places we've lived, you know, you can see the, the kitchen from the living room. That's true. I, I tend to like that. You couldn't really see the kitchen from the living room when we lived on Avers. Right. That was the one. Because there was that huge library the, in between. The center room that we used for our books mm -hmm. and not much else. Just look at all the space beneath the stairs here. Mm -hmm. You could make another renter live there. So brand new cabinets. This fucking back. Hosey boy. A hosey boy. A weird hosey boy. Yeah, I don't actually care for this hosey boy. This is gonna be a bitch to clean. Mm -hmm. All sorts of debris probably gets in there. Yeah, yeah, and it just like cruds up and shit, right? But hey, it's a hosey boy. Brand new cabinets. Breakfast bar. Mm -hmm. I like a breakfast bar. We eat all our meals at a breakfast bar, basically. Yeah, except when we eat outside. Yeah. But like, you know, I like eating at a breakfast bar as much as I've ever liked eating at that table we have. Which we barely ever used. Well, yeah. Well, we, used we used it, it at on Armitage. Armitage. Yeah, because that, there was no other place to eat because we had a tiny little kitchen. That kitchen really could have taken some space from the bedroom. Mm -hmm. Like two feet or so. That, yeah. And it would have made a lot of difference. Uh, all right, so uh, brand new appliances. This is the strangest microwave I've ever seen. Yeah, I'm sure it's fine though. I'm not. I'm not super picky about microwaves. We just jumped downstairs. This is up. Yeah. Now we've gotten to the the bottom this, part. This is end. not the same unit, I don't think. Mm -hmm. These some of these units are 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 multi floor, and you can tell because there's a staircase in one of the pictures. Yeah. This fucking couch is disgusting. Why is it this color? Yeah, well, the couch doesn't come with the apartment. Well, it probably does. I don't like wall-mounted televisions. Yeah, well, above the fireplace is like... I don't actually have a problem with it. I was thinking about mounting this television. Yeah. But, well, number one, I'd have to get rid of all the stuff on my walls. Mm -hmm. But number two, I would end up putting it there, which mm -hmm. means that, like, when I wanted to do, like, this, mm -hmm. I'd be, like, staring there. Right. And that so, didn't seem right. So it's good for, like, when you just want to watch TV while you're playing a game. Yeah, like, like if I were to sit true. back here and play a game, sure. Right. But the other thing is I also want to get a couch in this room, and yeah, that'll be lower. That. Mm -hmm. So I don't, I, don't, I don't know what to do. I've been thinking a lot about how I'm going to rearrange this room. I think I need another table. Mm-hmm. But I still haven't really come up with it. I don't like wall-mounted televisions in general because I. This is just too fucking high. I I mean I thought about it right because we we recently replaced our, our TV because we did not have a 4K television. We joined the 21st century of TVs. We had a 10-year-old television. But we bought the cheapest TV possible as well. Yeah, but we only bought it because I got a PS5. That's right. Uh, and I thought like oh well I could go a little bit bigger if we decided to wall-mount it right. Like, probably go to the 55. I beg your pardon. Right, we could probably go to the 55 and wall-mounted it. But then I thought about how much I would hate having a wall-mounted television. Yeah. Like, the idea of not being able to access the USB and the other connectors in the back, like, super easily. Like, I know they're on, like, hinges, so they, like, come out from the wall. Yeah. But, like, still, like, something about it. And the fear of that television falling off the wall oh. would be deeply ingrained in me at all times. This, there's a place to, there's a, there's a, I think this is an Xbox. Yeah. So there's a controller in here. Mm -hmm. No electricity, of course. They got a little sideboard. This is a nice piece of furniture over here. I want to actually see it, but I don't think we're gonna. Yeah, like this yeah, is like an antique table. We're getting further away from that piece of furniture. I fucking hate this though. Throw this away. Yeah. This person's an audiophile because who has a sound system that looks like that? Yeah. Like nobody. The most people have are like little fucking Bluetooth speakers for their uh, mm -hmm. for their eye device. When I was a kid and we lived in the other house, my parents had like a sound system that allowed the the sound deck to be in the office and the speakers came out to the living room. So my dad had a sound system too, mm -hmm. but like it's 2021, 20, right. number one. 
uh, large stereo components are no longer necessary for quality. Right. And then just like, who doesn't need an iPad dock? Right. Or an and, iPhone dock? You know, this was the, the 90s, so it had a turntable, it had cassette decks, it had a CD, like a six CD changer yeah. that could all be controlled from the living room. Um, but the unit itself was in the office. The thing that kills me about this is that this, whatever they do for the TV, it doesn't come through the stereo because mm -hmm. they're not possibly connected. And then, Unless they're Bluetooth. Where, where are the other speakers, mm -hmm. like the center channel and stuff? Mm -hmm. They don't exist. So you got this TV that's like way above the fucking, mm -hmm. like when you sit in your, your, your couch, you have to look like this at all times. And then you have a sound system that's at 90 degrees to it, which so it can't possibly be connected to it because like, you couldn't watch a baseball game or a basketball game without directional with sound. the sound coming out yeah. of the fucking side like that. And you can't watch a movie that way, obviously. It's really weird, right? Love. I fucking hate this shit. I'm okay with love. I'm, I'm just not okay. I don't like kitschy shit. Kid, well, you say that. We have a whole shit. We have kitschy shit that's attached to places we've traveled to. So short toilet, and then the, the letters JK on the wall. Just life, kidding. Life is better when you're laughing. <laughs> Unless you're laughing at my dick that's pounding up against the side of the toilet because it's a short toilet. Because <laughs> it's this tiny little fucking toilet. That's better than where oh, I was going. nice. I guess. I mean, these cushions, you want to bring them in every time? No. I presume they're waterproof cushions. Maybe, maybe. This is wicker furniture as well. Right, I mean, it looks like it's just wiped down furniture. I'm not a fan of these colors. No, not the colors, but the idea of like having a little bench. Yeah, sitting outside having a bench. Love. Love above your bed. So you can look at it while you're fucking. And there's one, two, three. God, you're what? so vulgar. There's three excess pillows and then two pillows for each side. Okay. I, I hate that color scheme. I like the full length, you know. Why is there a thing. picture of the bed? The Are bed they selling come, the bed? The bed doesn't come with it. <laughs> I beg your pardon. Uh, another another patio. Another patio. Oh, this, well, it is two units. So this this looks like it. super private, though, yeah. doesn't it? Like, this is, our, this is our breakfast patio. Tear this out and put the herbs in there. This is that weird sink that they have downstairs as well. Yeah, I'm surprised there aren't two sinks in this stuff. Uh, the vanity. toilet and the bathtub are closed off from the vanity. Yeah. Together. Yeah. That's weird. Oh, my mom's um, master bath is like that. Yeah, I've never been in those. Yeah, bath. but it's it's the toilet and the shower are in their own closed room, and then there's a double sink. That's weird. In the main section. I can see like you definitely want a solo vanity here. Yeah, I get that. So you can use. You know, someone can be in here while someone's in here. Yeah. But the ba the shower and the toilet should be in separate rooms too, mm -hmm. or the toilet should be separate from the other two. Yeah, I I definitely think that because I I don't have a problem. Like if I were to be in the shower and you wanted to come in and brush your teeth, that'd be totally right. Fine but you with me. don't want me while shitting, I'm shitting there and right. vice versa. Right. Yeah. Showering and and using the vanity seems like perfectly logical to me. Shitting and using the vanity doesn't. All right. I mean, the thing about it is, is that like a lot of married couples like us, at, after ten years, would be shitting in the bathroom while the other is using it. That will never happen in our marriage no. unless one of us is holding the other up. Right. So they can shit. Have you ever been in the bathroom while I'm vomiting? No, I don't think so. Okay. Because I was still drinking when we. Uh, I, of course, I still drink, but I was still drinking pretty heavily when we first got married. Yeah, that's just too good. Yeah. And the beatings. There's also no. The I mean, I, I distinctly have a memory of. I don't know where I was coming from, but I threw up in the Logan Square L station on my way home to the Avers. Oh my god. I don't remember that. That must have been right. Yeah, you weren't with me. And then I threw up again somewhere on Avery. There's a Star Wars poster, acoustic guitar with uh, with the uh, clamp. And this, this room has me confused. Because I don't see a dude living in a room this matchy-matchy. No, I think this is a girl. Has to be, right? Mm-hmm. This, this... This girl to me. She makes YouTube videos and she's like, hey guys, I'm gonna cover Olivia Rodrigo's tribute to Taylor Swift's tribute to CB Hank Nicks. Williams Sr. <laughs> Could be Stevie Nicks too. That's probably better than the way I went, but. I mean, I really like Stevie Nicks, but that doesn't change the fact that joke works. Dislikes. I like her Nicks. voice. I don't like her voice. Oh, really? 
but I like the band she's been in. That's why it's so sad. <laughs> yeah, it is. Clean Eating. Clean Eating Magazine. The, this is a woman. I call it black back issues of Clean Eating Magazine. I think maybe, maybe it is, or maybe this is a person who's working on a nutrition degree or something. Maybe. Clean Eating to me just is like eating disorder sort of light. Yeah, absolutely. What the polka dot and the red and white thing mm -hmm. made me think this is a woman's room, but there's no makeup. I just want to it might that. be in the bathroom. Maybe, but I mean, this is a big room. Yeah, all of my makeup's in the bathroom. That's true. In the trash. Right, another bedroom. This is a yoga space. But they do yoga. This is the loft, the bonus. Yeah. Okay, so this is legit. What is it with <laughs> fucking prayer flags? This is like a shrine. It's got a dog. There's a dog picture. Oh. All right, now accept this room is acceptable. All oh, these old bikes just rotting away on mm -hmm. the porch. Uh, okay, well, maybe a little, maybe curtain or something. Yeah. Because holy shit. It's just a view of the rotting bikes. Yeah. I don't think this room actually has a resonance. Like this stage. Yeah. Here's the other kitchen. Mm -hmm. Obviously not modern. It's not horrible though. It's not horrible. So this is the, the less desirable of the two units. Yeah. I mean, these appliances all got put in at the same time. Mm -hmm. It was just 20 or 30 years ago. Because you don't buy white appliances. Hey, the TV's at a normal height. It is. Is it cable modem or a tuning box there? Uh, that looks like there's a dog that lives here. Right here, yeah. Um, roll top disc. Mm -hmm. Out of date track line. Weird Asian fetish. I want it. Uh, oh. The University of Georgia. Mm -hmm. This looks like a doctor because it's huge. Yeah, but I find the the size of the diploma is the same no matter what your degree is based on your school. Yeah, it does tend to be the case. My my school eight and a half by eleven. So like my undergrad is huge. It is. My master's is tiny, although I still can't find it. And my PhD is the normal size. I beg your pardon. Your pretty huge dick is normal size. This person is like never home or anything. Yeah. Like, like look how unused the kitchen is. Mm -hmm. I mean, if that is in fact a PhD, maybe they teach at the school? Maybe. They teach Asian studies? Maybe they are Asian? The loft space was in the other part. The one with the weird dog shrine. You think so? This is a this is an this is an Irish uh, coat of arms print I see. that you can buy from the internet if your last name is like Connolly or O'Shaughnessy or something I see. like that. So I'm thinking they went to Japan, mm -hmm. but they're actually Irish American. I see. Because this is this is like a novelty thing you pay for. Oh, I looked up my name and it turns I mean, out we're from the Clan Meal. Something like that. I mean, I am simultaneously Asian and have a name that would come up with a result there. But you're not Irish. No. Okay. But I would come up with an Irish database. This fucking bathroom is hell. Yeah. Uh, they've used what little space they are for rolled up towels or something. Uh, there's no drawers. At least this is a full size toilet. This cabin is, it is a full size toilet. So your dick's not hitting Dick on. is safe, ladies and gentlemen. Dick is we safe. We secured the dick. Dick is safe. Dick is safe. Outdoor back patio. Look at this. Like, it might be a trend room. Yeah, this is where the dogs sleep. Yeah. Oh, there's a little bathroom right here. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
to a very like popular trendy place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We had to like wait. Seasonal American Fair in a cozy cottage. 4.6. Right. I need to text her back, by the way. Let's see how it looks on the menu. They're in Chicago right now. Really? Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, salami and cheese board is $28. Montreal duck wings. <laughs> Montreal duck wings. Uh, Bacon wrapped date skewers. So far, we haven't gotten to anything I can eat. Okay. How come Deviled this? eggs. Old Bay radishes microgreens. Five egg halves. Egg what house. happened to the other half of an egg, though? We're in the next how, order. How do you feel about microgreens? How do I feel about microgreens? Yeah. I don't even know what a microgreen well, is. Well, because they make a microgreen attachment now for the little, like, all all the time harvest uh, air garden that I have. Uh -huh. And it's like, oh, every 12 days you can harvest microgreens. A microgreen. I don't even know what a microgreen is. They're just tiny little, like, salad greens. Tiny little salad greens. Okay, so like the things I know of that are called salad greens taste like shit. Okay. Maybe microgreens are not it. Broccoli booster. So essentially like now they're making an arrow garden attachment that allows you just to do like, you know, a whole plate of microgreens. Young vegetable greens approximately one to three inches tall. Baby plants. That shit ain't right. You're just gonna kill and eat baby plants? All right, so what this menu is insane because five half eggs it's for ten is ten dollars. Uh, Colorado farmers market salad. salad, White Mountain quinoa, quinoa, there you go. Local radish, local beets, <laughs> local <laughs> carrots, <laughs> Western <laughs> slope fruit, Western slope berries, <laughs> clover honey, poppy seed vinaigrette, California chivret, Ch chivret. Sure. That's cheese, isn't it? Something croutons. Um, Penis croutons? Pen, pen, pen easy. Pen easy. I don't know what pen is. Is that a goat is. cheese? Uh, Chivari is a type of cheese. It's a female goat cheese. Okay. So a goat female, goat. as opposed to male goat cheese. <laughs> uh, Something about Chivari made me think goat. This isn't a salad. It's the contents of the fucking backyard. <laughs> it's just like random junk they found in the backyard. Uh, it isn't a charming... John's Nochi Verde. Char charming Cottage. Baby spinach, uh, Reggiano cream, lemon zest. Rocky Mountain. And presumably crap. no cheese. Yeah, presumably there's no cheese in there. Um, fish and chips, $18. Jesus Christ. Ancient grain veggie burger. Ancient grain I kind burger. of want my veggie to be, you know, grown within the last... Uh... <laughs> Uh, edamame ancient grain veggie burgers. This is a recipe to make them. So something like this, right? Quinoa, edamame, onion, mushrooms, carrots, so are walnuts, they, Are they just calling flaxseed. quinoa ancient greens? Yeah, probably. I mean, quinoa has been eaten for a long time. Yeah. This, this isn't a burger. And it doesn't mimic a burger in taste. You might be able to make a patty out of this. Is there eggs in it? There's no eggs in no, it. No, it's probably a vegan recipe. How is this sticking together? Olive oil? But that's not gonna work. <laughs> like that, there's not enough. Uh, breadcrumbs? Yeah, you know, the breadcrumbs will help the stability of it, that's for sure. Old fashioned oats, too. This is a real fucking fuck face. Like, this is not. This is just weird. And also, this is like, what, 12 or 15? 10 servings? I, okay. So, I mean, the reason we were looking at this place is because it was pictured in yeah. this property. It's like, oh, it's nearby. Uh, <laughs> it's like, I, we would look at that menu and you'd be like, let's go here. And I'd be like, mm, uh, Google Campus. Can we go to Burger King afterwards? Google Campus. I mean, basically anywhere in America you live, you now live near Google Campus. Google is dealing with the reality that their workers don't want to work in Google. Well, a lot of them are saying they don't want to fucking come back. Yeah, and, Go and Google's like, no, no, you need to come no, back. No, no, we've moved out of the city so we could fucking live our lives. Yeah, and, and uh, you know, uh, the thing about Google, right, is they're like one of those campus companies mm -hmm. where they have like a gym and they have right. a theater and they have events on property. But people are like, I've been doing my job for the last 16 months. I don't want to be... At fucking Google. You know, yeah. yeah. Absolutely. I've been doing my job for the last 16 months in, like, you know, the Inland Empire, where it's way cheaper than San Francisco, right? So, like... Yeah. 
Uh, or, or Silicon Valley, yeah, absolutely. Um, so here, here's a layout, so we, we can actually make a little bit of sense of this. So floor one is actually the basement, right? right? And it, it's just the one bedroom with a big old, yeah. this has a great room. This is the unit you would live in it's if like you cool owned it. And it has a shower stall only. Mm -hmm. The kitchen and galley size, I mean, this isn't awful, mm -hmm. right? Uh, I feel like it's a real waste to have this closet face outwards. Yeah. Like, I, I, if I own this, I might tear the closet down. Yeah. Put some coat hooks up. But uh, I feel like you and I could reasonably live in that unit. Yeah, and I mean, would you rent out the, the next floor? Right. To, as a three bedroom. Right. Because it has that loft. Particularly if I didn't have to work from home. Yeah. So as a, as, a, as a huge living room, mm -hmm. the second floor, this is gigantic. Yeah. The problem I think you have with this is actually finding people who can afford to rent it. Because, like, it's the, the main condo here is a luxury mm -hmm. uh, building. The first floor is a little old. The, the furnishings are old and the, and, the, and the equipment in it is old. But it's fine. We would live in something like that. Mm -hmm. um, but this place is too big and too nice for like college students. No, but it, it might be, you know, somebody who, who works for Google and is only here for, you know, a 12 month assignment and then it's going to another location. Yeah, in a three bedroom. Or somebody who got like, you know, a visiting um, position at the, co at the college. college. Yeah. Well, brand new appliances, Samsungers, uh, top, top load washer. Because, I mean, it is generally true that the colleges are going to pay in accordance with the standard of living in the yeah, area. Yeah, you, can, you can't have people work for you if they can't live in your life. Right. This, this actually, at four four eight a month, is actually pretty cheap for a million dollar property. I'm a little skeptical about that. Skeptical about that. Um, because, you know, you could rent that two bedroom for two to four grand. Mm -hmm. um, and you can live in a place that has a negative that you, you're not paying for the rent or the mortgage for if the rent is less than what you would pay elsewhere. Right. So like the difference. I mean, this has been the least worst place we found looking today where we moved to Portland, Maine and we moved to Boulder, Colorado. Right. I mean, because you can rent that second unit at a price that gets you close to that mortgage. You might be able to get three, three grand right. for it easy. And that means we don't really know for sure. Right. And then if that if you get three grand from that, then if you're paying your apartment a thousand, yeah, well eighteen hundred, yeah, um, then that's that's fine. Well, it's okay. Again, because you know, hypothetically, university positions are paying in accordance with the standard of living, so they they would be paying me enough that I'd be able to keep up with that. Yeah. All right. Well, uh, we did our thing today. Uh, I will be back tomorrow. I will not be. Uh, when will I be back tomorrow? The fire play at noon. So it'll be later than 2 p.m. So I'll be streaming tomorrow sometime later than 2 p.m. Central Time. Not sure what I'm going to do. Thanks for joining us if you join us. Thanks for uh, for watching us go to Zillow. The hot new thing to do on Twitch is go to Zillow and make fun pretend of you're moving somewhere and just make fun of the pictures. It's a good time. We'd honestly be doing this not on Twitch as well. Yeah, we'd probably just be sitting around doing it. All right, bye.